Jennifer and Richardson from Life on the Balcony, and I'm here today to tell you about a great tool I discovered called the Soil Scoop. AHA Modern Living sent it to me to review, and I think it's a great tool for container gardeners. So, I've gathered a couple of my pots here, and I plan on using them to show you how the Soil Scoop is a great multi-purpose tool for container gardeners. First, I have this pot here with the strawberries, um, the South African geranium, and a silver artemisia. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, except that I really don't like how the South African geranium and the artemisia are very close in color, and so I would like to remove this guy and replace him with a black sweet potato vine. And then also, I have this pot here, which had um, a geranium and some irises in it, and um, the geranium is really crowding out the iris bulbs, and neither plant is really happy anymore. Um, the geranium is showing signs of, of distress, and the iris is getting attacked by insects, which I suspect is because it's so crowded in there. So I'm going to separate those two and find them new partners, and hopefully everyone will be happy. First, I'm going to start with this pot. And the soil scoop, there's a couple of really great things about it. Um, for starters, it has a really pointy tip right here, which is really great for digging into compacted soil or cutting through roots. Um, also great for that task is these serrated edges, which are on both sides, so you can use it left or right-handed. Um, the, the blade is also really sturdy, so you're not going to be, feel it wiggling around in there once you're, uh, you get to digging. And the uh, handle is ergonomic and uh, rubberized, so it's not slippery when wet. And the handle is specifically designed to help you hold it like this, so that the soil scoop acts as an extension of your own hand, as opposed to this, which you know can really encourage you to hurt your back or your shoulder. So I'm just going to slip it in here, and luckily I remember where the bulbs are, so I don't stick my soil scoop right into them. And I can really just feel it easily scooping in here and cutting through all the roots. I'm just going to do that all the way around the geranium, being very careful to avoid the irises, of course. Don't want to stab them with that sharp, pointy soil scoop. That would kind of defeat the purpose. And I'll just work my way around, and then I'll be able to pull out the geranium from this pot. So I was able to get both geraniums out without too much trouble and with large root balls still intact, which is what you want when you're transplanting. But I wanted to show you one more thing that I think is really good about the soil scoop that is particularly useful to container gardeners. Because of its scoop shape, it works kind of like an ice cream scoop and does a really good job of scooping up a large amount of dirt and cradling it in place while you, you know, carefully guide it into the pot, which is really useful, especially when you're potting up smaller pots and want to get the dirt in around the plant, but not all over the plant. So I think you can see why I think this is such a great tool. Thanks again to ahamodernliving.com for sending it to me to review. I had a blast making this first video blog post. AHA Modern Living is selling it for $18, which um, I think is a couple bucks cheaper than anywhere else on the internet that I was able to find. And they're carrying the soil scoop in purple and green, although Little Birdie tells me that they'll be carrying it in other colors soon, like this great Tiffany blue, which is my favorite color. So once you get your soil scoop in hand, I hope you'll check out lifeonthebalcony.com for more container gardening tips, tricks, and reviews.